Hello everyone, my name is Devlina Sarkar and I direct the Nano Cybernetic Biotech Research Group at MIT Media Lab. So our group has two major research directions and the first one is to create energy efficient nano electronic devices which can enable a sustainable growth of information technology and artificial intelligence. So in this area we have developed the first quantum mechanical transistor which is only six atoms in thickness and you have shown that it can lead to unprecedented energy efficiency by overcoming the fundamental limits in power of existing technologies. And currently we are extending this technology to spintronic devices which use not only the electron charge but the spin of the electrons to make them highly energy efficient and make them work like how our brain works. And the second direction in our group is to fuse these nanoelectronic devices with biology to create a new paradigm for life machine symbiosis by overcoming the existing technologies challenges which are highly invasive in nature. So our technologies consist of devices which are extremely small and they can fuse seamlessly with our biological systems. And our applications have three major areas that we are focusing on. The first one is in mental health and neurodegenerative diseases. The second one is in cancer. And the third one is in the area of aging. So we have shown that our devices can lead to focal brain stimulation of deep brain regions completely wirelessly and without causing damage to any brain and with high spatiotemporal resolution to treat neurological diseases and mental health conditions. In the area of cancer, we have shown that our novel bioelectronic therapy can kill cancer cells, even those which are resistant to drugs and radiations. This is particularly critical for brain cancer or glioblastoma, as well as breast cancer brain metastasis, for which currently there is no cure. Thus, our technology can have huge implications for women's health. In the area of aging, we have, first of all, developed a technology which leads to the discovery of previously unseen biological building blocks in the body which are related to diseases of aging. And currently, we are employing our technology to clear these pathological aggregates which can address the very root cause of the diseases and even help us to reverse the course of aging. Overall, the goal in our lab is to employ this subcellular sized wireless nanoelectronic devices which can be seamlessly integrated into our body to transcend humans beyond diseases and biological limitations. Thank you very much.